Can you guess what this advertisement is for? It is a car, BMW advertisement. Do you think there are any connection between a woman lying on the floor and BMW? Here's another example. I'm sure it was easy to notice what this is for. This is for. As when companies are in fierce competition to sell and advertisement their, their goods, they make more advertisement which are incentive and attractive. Finding them around us is a piece of cake. However, there are some problems. <coughs> Companies make advertisement which have too many sexually explicit images and messages like what I have just shown you. Companies use sexually explicit content as a marketing tool. For example, Kevin Klein has placed a new advertisement on a five-story billboard on a building in New York City which show half naked teenagers lying on the top of each other in erotic position. And according to the sexual health research, two out of every three shows on TV include sexual content. Like those examples, we could easily find more some media in public. As we are close to the media, we could have distorted image of sex, like it could be sold and bought or it it's very normal to advertisement, advertise with those content. And they influence on sexual knowledge, attitude, and behavior. Some students follow what they see on the media thoughtlessly, and further, it makes people commit serious sexual crimes. And so companies should remit using sexual content and prevent them from teenagers. Women and men are objectified. In C CSL, which is a drama, the male characters get to dress like professional in suits, and the female characters dress like they are going to a nightclub advertisement. A nightclub. In Victoria's Secret commercial, young women rarely wear clothes and show their bodies to advertise uh, the underwears, and men wear tight jeans and no shirts. If you like. They are also sold with the goods that they advertise, and the purpose of those is to give sexual attraction and satisfaction. So people order to make their body more looking clean and muscular. The problem is that objectification contains this idea. You must look like this model, you must dress up like them, and you must do what they do. Those ideas can hurt people and provide distorted images <coughs> of sex and body. Conversely, some people think that using sexual content is an effective way to advertise and it could is attract people like Hadishas. However, I want to tell that it isn't a unique way anymore. By the Daily Mirror newspaper, now young customers are bored of sexual images. In other, in other advertisement, they could not show them and clearly mark out a brand no longer. For example, a company made a new phone, which was very unique. So everyone was so interested and it attracted people, but after a few months, lots of companies started to make that phone, which used to be special. Since companies have produced those, they aren't exclusive and people aren't, aren't so fascinated anymore. Sexually expressed advertisements are the same. So many sexual, so many sexual images make customer bored, and it's just objectification of sex. It would be better to use their creativity in a way that would surprise people and make them interested in buying company's goods. Using sexually explicit images and content for advertising, advertising their good products could affect people's thoughts and behavior and even make serious sexual violence. It is also a powerful way to materialize human beings as accessories which make companies' products look more fancy and showy. Somehow, relying on femininity and manhood to endure their com commodities make customers feel bored because the advertisements are easy to find and everyone, even young children, sees it. So companies could be more careful 
and we could do is not what we could do is not to buy products which contain sexual images and messages, or to send an email to the companies which say to stop using those images. <laughs>